In this video, we are going to explore HTTP middleware in Laravel and also take a look at some of the common middleware in each Laravel application. All the middleware registered into your application can be found at app HTTP kernel. In this class, you can find the global middleware. These middleware run on every request coming into your application. For example, the middleware handling cross-origin requests and the middleware handling that maintenance mode. There is also middleware groups. By default, Laravel registers two middleware groups. The web middleware group for handling stateful requests, which are requests that require a session. The API middleware group handles stateless requests. You can also register custom middleware. This middleware does not run by default. You have to assign each middleware to a route in order for it to run. Now let's take a look at an example middleware. Inside the handle method of a middleware, the middleware receives a the request and a closure. This is a request coming right from the browser. You can validate something in the request, like for example, make sure that there is an authenticated user or change something in the request like decrypt cookies or do something in with the request like for example taking the request information and sending it to your logging service after that you may pass the request to the closure doing this handles the request to the next middleware in the group and the next middleware is going to do the same handle the request to the next middleware and the next middleware in the end you will get the response from the application you can take this response and change something into it like encrypt cookies before sending it to the browser. You can also do something with the response like send the response information to your logging service. Finally, you return the response. So a middleware takes the request, do some logic with this request, send it to the rest of middleware and finally to the application. The application is going to generate a response and you can take this response and run some logic and finally return the response back to the browser. If we take a look at one of the most common middleware in Laravel, which is the middleware handling cross-origin requests, we can see a live example of how middleware works. In this middleware, for example, it first checks if the request is a cross-origin request, because this middleware is only interested in this type of requests. And if not, it's just going to send the request to the next middleware, then to the application and return the response. However, if it's a pre-flight request, it's going to handle this request in a special way and return the response. Finally, if it checks if this request should be allowed, and if not, it's going to return an error response. Returning a response here means that all the next middleware are not going to run and the application will not receive the request. Finally, if all the checks passed, the request is going to be sent to the next middleware and then to the application, get the response and then add some headers to the response before returning it. Let's take a look at another middleware, which is the middleware responsible for encrypting and decrypting cookies. If we look at the parent middleware class, you can see in the handle method, that this middleware is going to take the request and decrypt the cookies in the request, send it to the next middleware and finally to the application and take the response, encrypt the cookies in the response before sending it back to the browser. This middleware is a perfect example of what middlewares are useful for. You can manipulate the request, you can manipulate the response before sending it back to the browser. Now let's take a look at another middleware, which is the res middleware responsible for starting the session and assigning a session ID. If we take a look at the handle method in this middleware, we can see that this middleware is skipped if the request doesn't have a session or the session is not configured. Otherwise, we are going to start the session and starting a session means that we are going to assign a unique session ID and set this session in the request. Finally, the request with the session is sent to the application, the next middleware and then the application, and then we take the response. Before handing the response to the browser, we are going to attach the session cookie. And finally, save the session in the session store before returning the response. I hope the idea of middleware is clear to you now, and I hope you understand how some of the most common middleware works in Laravel. 